Hello, Rudy Navarrete here um, for the casting uh, TV show. So anyhow, um, I'm here with our stove that we've been using. Now we did have this, uh, um, this one came with the restaurant. Um, this did work for the first about four months, uh, convection of it worked pretty good. This one never did work. Burners are really nice. Um, the, so I, that's why I really like keeping it around because the burners are they're, they're sweet. Uh, salamander works, but it's just kind of hard to, you have to babysit it and then they don't really bake the food like I like, like, I like it to. Because uh, this is more or less melts from the bottom. I mean melts from the top really quickly. So anyhow, this is just I ended up buying this just to have a second one just in case type of deal, right? So when this died, um, I just I looked at it, whatever, get it fixed, but it was just too much work to get fixed. So it's just your regular, you know, resident you know, residential stove, nothing fancy at all. Um, but we make it do. And like going out of town catering through all the years, you know what I mean? I've dealt with ovens that are like, you know what I'm saying, you can buy at like $50 or $25 at a rummage, you know what I'm saying? So, and this was, <laughs> it was like $700. So to me, I mean, it's it's, it's done all right. We've had, a, um, uh, luckily it was under warranty twice now where the bottom of the bake part, um, something happened. So we had to get the new valve in it, whatever, blah, blah. And then we used broil, which is similar to the salamander, which is just kind of a pain in the neck. Um, we got Arlen here, uh, he's recording um, he's a great worker. He's awesome. Uh, he's deaf though, so when I at the end of it, I'm gonna wave. So if you wonder why I'm waving, that's my cue to tell him to go ahead and uh, stop it. But uh, anyhow, so it's 10:37 right now. Uh, normally, um, normally I'm out here by now, uh, about an hour ago. But I had this expo today, where today um, it was uh, a lot going on, and so I got here at eight in the morning, and I'm about to get out of here. Um, we got an expo uh, thing tomorrow, which went really great. Sold a lot of gift cards and stuff, and that's going to be. Uh, we'll get here probably like oh six thirty seven in the morning. That's from nine to five. So you know, being a restaurant owner, I mean, I love what I do, but nonetheless, you know, what I mean, like being on a Friday night, single, I, I have no kids. You know, it would be ideal to go out, and have a good time, but. And I like the you know buzz of alcohol, but then it's just the hangover sucks. So I pick and choose my days to go do something. Um, but uh, it's just a lot of work. So a restaurant, you gotta love it. Otherwise, it's not gonna work for you. Um, but I do love it. I love it every day. Granted, sometimes you know, like yeah, like ideally I would kind of like to go out on a weekend, um, mingle, whatever. But it is what it is. So I'm, I'm just hard at it. Uh, so we're making a video because we wanted to show this. Um, you want to see the stove and then I'll show you the tile the tile that uh, so when we came here there was a lot way more stuff than what I needed because everything I do is fresh and, they had, and, and I don't grill, I don't grill anything so I don't need a flat um, I don't do burgers or anything like that or uh, saute stuff so uh, I got rid of a couple big old flat um, flat grills and uh, but when I pulled everything out it was tons of grease. I mean, I'm talking about on the floor like this, behind, I mean, everything. I did save these fryers, sold two of them because we don't really fry tons of stuff. It was a sports bar and grill, so they had, you know, mozzarella stick, cheese balls, cheeseburgers, just a bunch of greasy fried stuff. And you could tell it. So when we pulled it out, so if I ever fortunate to buy another restaurant that has equipment, I'm pulling things out. <laughs> so that was a lesson learned. So I already had it bought and I pulled it out, like, oh my gosh, it took a long time to clean it. But once we've got everything clean, so these tiles, um, right down here, they're just the, uh, what's that called? In the middle cock or whatever it's called. I, I, I don't know what it's called, but I'm not too uh, um, construction savvy or whatever. But anyway, it's like that. And then over here, it's really bad. Okay. Um, and it's just soft. And it's just really soft, so if I step on it, it'll just kind of sink in. So that I like to get fixed, um, but uh, I don't know. For sure, for sure, I mean, I'm not. so like $50,000 would be uh, a lot of money. Um, stove, I really just need like a $3,000 stove, would be pretty sweet. Um, here, plug this in. Oh, yeah. Sorry you can't hear, but we're running low on battery. 